First question, back left. LeBron, Joseph Pichardo, the score. I was just wondering if you could uh, take us through kind of what's going through your head and how the play developed, the one where you went off the glass to yourself. Uh, I think I was, I was, it was a transition uh, play, and uh, I believe it was Kyle on my right side that was running the wing, and uh, two of their players were back, and I was just I was trying to engage one of them. So I can get Kyle a shot in the corner, and they both went to Kyle, I believe. And uh, I got caught in the air. So that's the only thing I could think of. I didn't want to travel. And Draymond was kind of playing double T, and double T kind of had his back towards me. So just threw it off the glass and went and got it. Fifth row back? Fourth row back, sorry. LeBron Spencer Davies, Basketball Insiders. Just the way you guys came out in that first quarter where Tristan's establishing the tone of the game, J.R. Smith's hitting some big threes. How can you ensure that you bring that same kind of mentality on the road in Oracle and just seeing what you guys were capable of doing that? Uh, well, we're going to watch the film, uh, you know, when we get to, uh, get to, to uh, Golden State. And, uh, you know, we're going to see ways we can be better. You know, we didn't play, you know, you know, our type of game, you know, game one and game two. And and if we don't do that, I mean, if we play like we play in game one and game two, the series is over. So um, we have to continue to play how we played at home. You know, we have to be physically, um, you know, be physical at, at the point of point of attack. We got to continue to move the ball, share the ball. And, uh, you know, tonight we had 27 assists. And that's, uh, that's very key. And the, and the first three games, you guys kind of struggled from beyond the arc, hit 24 tonight. Just how – different of a team are you guys when you're just knocking those perimeter shots down? I mean, that's that's part of who we are. You know, we we set a lot of records since we, you know, kind of assembled this team the last couple of years. And, you know, that's just part of who we are. We got guys that can uh, stretch the floor and make big shots. And, uh, you know, they did it the night from Kai, Kevin, and Swish. And, uh, and everybody else chipped in as well. Chris up front. Chris Haynes, ESPN. Ron, did you talk with your, your teammates and before the game and just stress, like, we're not going out like that to something along those lines? Um, well, we, I mean, I didn't hear it, but some of the other guys heard it and told me that, you know, that they wanted to, uh, you know, they wanted to celebrate on our floor once again and, you know, they wanted to spray champagne in our, our locker rooms and, you know, I think it came from Draymond. Uh, which is which is okay. That's Dre, anyways. But uh, you know, so I just told guys I didn't, I didn't stress anything besides just living the moment. You know, living the moment. We have a great opportunity to uh, you know to give ourselves another opportunity to keep going. And um, you know, we played well in Game Three, well enough to win, and we just didn't do it. But um, tonight we came out and uh, you know we stuck to the game plan. Our coaching staff put it put together, and uh, you know we this was a. This is close to a 48 minute game we played in the postseason, you know, and even in the first, you know, couple first three rounds, this was close to a 48 minute game we played, and uh, you know, it was big for us. Again in the front, uh, Sherry from Tencent, China. Uh, how important is it that is that is that it, everybody's standing out for the game, and also, do you finally feel that tonight you guys are who you are? Well, I think the last two games we've played Cavaliers basketball, we've been physical. We haven't turned the ball over, and uh, we've shared the ball, you know. And uh, like I said in Game Three, we just, you know, down the stretch we couldn't make any shots, and uh, and they did. And now it's just it's a make or miss league at that point. So, in the last couple of games, we've been playing Cavaliers basketball, and it's uh, it's resulted in us just playing better and us getting this win tonight. Mark in the middle. LeBron, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Kind of looks like deja vu. All over again, you guys going back west, down three games to one. Do you have these guys just where you want them? Uh, no, nah, they got us <laughs> where they want us. No, nah, I don't. Now, listen, at the end of the day, um, you know, we want to just try to put ourselves in position to play another game. And uh, we did that tonight, and, and hopefully we can do it Monday night where we can come back here. So, um, you know, our mindset is uh, just try to go up there and get one. Um, which is uh, probably one of the toughest environments we have in this league, along with our building. And, uh, you know, so we look forward to the, ch to the challenge and the matchup. Dan, back right. 
Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports. Uh, 40 more tonight for Kyrie LeBron, uh, coming off of the difficult end to game three, uh, big performance from him. Uh, did you feel that he was going to be able to bounce back in a, a big way after that tough end to game three? And what else did you see from him tonight? Um, he's just been very special in closeout games, you know, and uh, either if we were on both sides, you know, uh, us being able to close out or a team trying to close out on us. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's just been built for that moment. I've said that over and over again, that he's always been built for the biggest moments, and uh, tonight he showed that once again. It's not surprising. Yeah, he's just that special.